What can wash away our sins? Our sins, my sin, your sin. There is nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. The blood that brought salvation unto us is the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that brought salvation unto us. Yes, the blood, the blood, nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is nothing, there is only one thing, and that is the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flood that makes me white as snow. And oh, I'm the fence. I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood is only the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood I was born on Calvary Cross. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, my. But in this, I see. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, my. Men's in this. And please. Nothing but the blood, the blood of and all precious is the flood that makes me white I should hold on the I know nothing the blood of blood of Jesus there is nothing, there is only one thing the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Oh, the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your shed blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There are three Christ. simple changes. There's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing. It's only the shed blood of our Lord Jesus. Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. There's nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We bless you. You alone deserve every glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. And mm. oh, precious I flow It's me white as snow. And I feel I know nothing but the blood. Father, we thank you, Lord, and bless you. Oh, yes. There is nothing, it's only one thing. It's the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood that was poured on Calvary Cross. Oh, yes. For my heart in this, I see nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. For my Cleansing this, I bleed. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all precious is the flood of me. It's the white as snow. 
And I found, I know I did my love blood, the blood of Jesus There is nothing, there is only one thing, the blood of Jesus The blood I was shed on Calvary Cross, Father we thank you Lord we bless you, in the name of Jesus I did my love, blood, I love Jesus. This is all my righteousness. I did my love, blood, I love Jesus. And all of us, we just need that. I did my love. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you once again in the name of Jesus. Children of God, men and women of God, once again I bring you greetings. Seek ye the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and everything will be added unto you. It was Jesus Christ who commanded us. If you are Christian, if you have come to the Christian dome, this is a command to every Christian, every child of God, that we should seek the kingdom, not only the kingdom, but its righteousness. And the Bible says everything will be added unto us. Jesus told us that there is a kingdom. He said that I come, that you may have life and have it more abundantly. There is no life in anyone. Again, there is no life in anyone. And when you read John chapter 6, verse 35, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. And if you believe in me, you will never get thirsty. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus said in John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to me. <laughs> to my father but by me and so jesus made us clear that he is the only way and he said that i go to prepare a place and i'll come back jesus is the only way again when you read john 11 and verse 25 jesus said i am the resurrection and life he who believes in me even though he dies he will live again it's only jesus christ when you read john chapter john chapter 8 and the verse 12 jesus says i am the light of this world and whoever will follow me will never walk in darkness but he will walk in the light of life and meaning that the light that you walk in is life jesus christ is the only life and my prayer is that you believe him he says he's coming and he has his reward in his hand we've been talking about the morals of the kingdom of God, Jesus Christ. And we have already talked about the morals aspect that when you come to the kingdom, you must deny yourself. The Bible says that if anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. And so you cannot come to the Lord Jesus Christ and continue holding on to your old behavior. You must deny yourself. And you must carry your cross. Meaning that there are many things that you go through and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, Jesus told us uh, that he will give us the key. And we'll be talking about the keys. What is required of the kingdom of God? Now we are talking about what the kingdom of God is. Jesus of Christ used life stories to tell us what the kingdom of God is. And I started from Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 13. A story, life story farm story that jesus christ used to relate and show us how the kingdom of god how important the kingdom of god is matthew chapter 13 verse 25 said but he says another parable put he forth saying the the kingdom of heaven is like looking unto a man which sow good seed in the field whilst men slept his enemy came and sowed tears 
the enemy. The Bible says we should be vigilant and be watchful because our adversary, the devil, roams around seeking somebody to devour. All that he is doing that, he is seeking somebody to destroy. Again, Jesus said in John 10 and verse 10 that the thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And so Jesus Christ spelled out the, the mission statements of the devil, the purpose for which he came. He said he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And what about Jesus' his mission statement? He said he came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Because in him is life, and the life is the light of man. First one that Jesus made us to know through this parable that he has lordship over everything. He is the Lord, and there is none beside him, neither there is any rock like our God, our Jesus is Lord. Again, he is Lord. He said he went out, a man went out and sowed a seed. And Jesus Christ explained the parable. He explained it for us to see when you read verse 38 he, he says he that sow the good seed is the son of man and so jesus christ made us to understand the lordship of his kingdom whether you like it or not he is lord and his king some people say that he's a prophet yes he asks others say that many people have their own sayings on what they think but it is personal Again, I will tell you, knowing Jesus is a mystery. Not everybody will know Jesus. Because when you read John 1 and the verse 11 and 12, he said he came for his own. The Bible says he came for his own. His own received him not, but as many that receive him. And so not everybody will know Jesus. Not everybody. And so don't worry yourself. Trust in him and believe in him. He says that out on that faithful day, when you read John 7, verse 30, uh, 7, 38, he said, on that faithful chair, then Jesus stood on the mountain and cried. He said, he eat that taste, let him come to the waters and drink, and out of his belly shall flow living waters. And so it is not everybody who come to Jesus Christ and drink from the rock that follows us. And the Bible said that rock is Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, his name is Jesus, there is not beside him and not that there is any rock like our god he made us to understand his lordship he says that the man went out to sow seed and after men slept and when they have lost their last system was low and they were sleeping an enemy came to sow seed an enemy came to sow seed he says that but when the blade was spread forth and brought forth fruit then appeared the, the tears also. So the Lord of the household came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in the field? From whence then had these tears? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, Well thou then that we go and gather them up. But he said, Nay, least while you gather up the tears, you root up also the wheat with them. He said, let them all grow together until the harvest. There is a day of harvest. There is a day of harvest. A day that our Jesus will come. Somebody said, don't believe it. You sit down and fill yourself with a basket of excuses. Sit down and think that oh, I, I, I am educated. Think that, that I, I have money. <laughs> Tell me one person. Tell me one person who have died and was buried with whatever whatever he had i tell sometimes when you look at how the Muslims buried their corpse it does not matter <laughs> your position or how rich you are all of them good in the same i pray that we will catch wisdom and begin to do what our jesus christ have called us to do that jesus have called us to do a child of god listen to me there is a day of accountability. Jesus Christ, he explained the parable and said that he that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom. Those who have come to the kingdom. The children of the kingdom. 
Are you sure you are part of the of the, the kingdom? Are you sure you are the chosen one? Remember, Jesus Christ again gave a parable. Matthew uh, 20 and Matthew 22. I'll talk about these things. And he ended up by saying, Many are called, but few are chosen. Many have come into the kingdom, but yesterday they don't understand. They don't understand. My prayer is that you will understand and you will come. You do. The second thing is that the parable shows us the love. One, it shows us his lordship, his kingship, that he's lord. The Bible says, For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ and we give accounts. On that faithful day, Jesus was set upon his throne. Somebody said, I don't believe it. How can you believe it? Because you have opened your ears and your mind to sound doctrines and listen to people. There are people who are eloquent. Yes, they think that they know everything. But when it comes to this, the things of Christ, they are the least. Because as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. His name is Jesus. Again, his name is Jesus Christ. Come to him. And you find fulfillment for your soul. He shows us his love. He's telling us, the Bible said that, that they came, the Lord of the house came. You see, he says, let me go. I read. I am reading Matthew 13, verse 27. He says, so the servants of the house came and said unto him, Sir, didn't you so good seize? And he said, yes. He said, an enemy has said so. But he said that, let us go and gather. The servant said, want to go and gather the bad ones. He said, no. While that, that take away the, the bad ones, maybe you take away the good ones. Let them grow. He shows the love of Jesus Christ for us. The Bible says that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish. Again, the Bible says in First Timothy 2, 3 and 6, that for this is the good and acceptable in the sight of God, who desire all men to be saved. That is the desire. Our Lord Jesus desired that everybody will not perish. The third one I want to talk about is that, that he wants us to learn about the lost. There are many who are lost and Jesus cared for them. Jesus cared for the lost. The Bible says in Matthew 28 verse 16, when Jesus Christ resurrected, the Bible says all that Jesus said, all authority in heaven on earth has been given unto me. Go. Go and make disciples. Go and win souls everywhere. Tell them about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will be able to witness and tell people that our Jesus is coming back. Our Jesus, verse 18, he says that, he says, our power in heaven is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of this world. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is telling us to go, is to go and win souls. He cares for them. He says that don't go and take out any seed because when you go and you by taking any one you may uproot the good ones you may you may bring out the good ones let's say matthew 13 verse 40 he said as therefore the tears are gathered and burned in fire so shall it be in the end of this world there is an end somebody says you don't you don't believe it my bible tells me my bible tells me that there is an end and it will come i remember somebody called me and say oh so far, where is heaven going to be <laughs> heaven going to be i say who cares <laughs> who cares where whether heaven is in the sky it's in it's in under the ground wherever heaven is my bible tells me that there is heaven there's hell and all that i believe there is no other argument. <laughs> Somebody sang, sang a song. <laughs> I have no other argument. I have no other plea. It is enough. It is enough that Jesus died. And that he died for me. 
We don't have any other argument. Or that we believe that there is heaven and there is hell. And our Jesus will come. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you believe. His name is Jesus. Again, his name is Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you and your household will have fulfillment for your soul. Jesus Christ said that there are many who are lost. Again, he said that this enemy is that so they see is the devil, the harvest is the end of this world. My brother, my sister, Jesus Christ made us to know that this world will come to an end. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, this world will one day come to an end. And uh, when you preach it, somebody says that uh, we scare people. We, 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 we use preaching to scare people, that people will be scared. We are telling you the truth. We are telling you the truth. That there is a heaven and there is hell. And so while you are living your life, prepare your life towards it. It is not scary. It is a fact. It is a fact. Somebody said he don't want to hear. You see them. He said he who saw the seed. <laughs> Hallelujah. The enemy therefore, as the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so will be the end. Of this age, the Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out his kingdom on things that offend. And those who practice lawlessness, those who practice lawlessness, and all will cast them into the furnace fire, there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. That is what the Bible says. It's Jesus who said it. That there is an end. And so Jesus Christ cared for the lost. He want us to know that the Lord, those who are lost, will never inherit the kingdom of God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you know. As of the Apostle 1 and the verse 8, says that we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon us and we shall be witnesses. What are we going to witness? Witness about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tell people that he will come. There is a kingdom and that kingdom, Jesus Christ is Lord. Every parable when you come you come to this verse jesus christ used about eight parables in matthew chapter 13. i pray in the name of jesus that you know that there is a kingdom and jesus is the lord and there are rules to the kingdom he said when you seek the kingdom seek the righteousness living a righteous life live a righteous life that is a command and when you leave it there is a promise that automatically heaven will stand for you everything will be added unto you you don't need anybody to prophesy to you and decree and declare that you are going to jump in the whole world i i pray i was listening to a man of god and i, I just i was just laughing he said i'll push you into your blessing i push you into your blessing what what strength are, can you push somebody this is the holy ghost they, I, I will never i was just laughing a child of god listen to me when you begin to do the will of god Hey, if the heavens, everybody can push everybody into that blessing, hey, everybody will be walking into blessing. <laughs> Jesus said in this word, you have trouble, <laughs> but I'll be of peace. I have overcome the world. <laughs> in this last days, people are using the gospel to deceive many people to the will of God. <laughs> and when you begin to do the will of God, <laughs> troubles will gather around you. Somebody asked me, <laughs> I remember, he said, oh, so for, why is it that when I was in the world, there was no problem, but immediately I became Christian. Life has been so hard. Listen to me. If you decide to walk in righteousness, that is why the world, many ministers don't want to hear and don't want people to know righteousness. Is the only thing that brings the kingdom of the devil down. The devil cannot. Hallelujah. Let me go. Let me go back to Job. And <laughs> let me talk to you. Somebody you know what righteousness, righteousness is. Let me go. Job chapter 1. Listen to it. If somebody don't want to hear. The Bible said now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came. And the Lord said unto Satan, Where cometh thou? And Satan answered, From going to and fro 
the earth and from walking up in, and down in it. And the Lord said to Satan, Had thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright one that shine evil and a strong. He said that one fears God and shine evil. And so God was able to uh, to count the characteristics of uh, the good things about Job. Listen to what Satan said. When you have time, go and read Job chapter 1 and the verse 9. Satan answered the Lord and said, Do Job fear you for nothing? And so when you fear God, it's, it's not vain. When you fear God, there is something. Everybody who fears God works in integrity. And this is one. He says that one, you become a perfect man. <laughs> you are upright with an integrity. And one who fear God, you shine evil. And listen to what, what it is. I tell, I tell God for the word of God. We preach the word of God. It's, it's by itself inspiration. And it gives life. Jesus said the words that I speak, they are life. They are life and they are spirit. That is why the Bible says that uh, whoever take his word, he told Joshua, go read Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. He says that if you don't turn left and turn right and meditate upon, you succeed in the land. Listen to what Job, uh, the devil told God. He said, Had not thou made a hedge, a hedge, <laughs> you see, a hedge about him. And so when you begin to fear God and you walk in integrity, integrity or upright is righteousness. There is a wall. Hey, the righteousness that you walk build a wall around you. <laughs> Number two, he says that about his household, about all that he had on every other side, and that has blessings and the work and his substance and his increase. You don't need any man of God to come and say, I decree and I decree. You're going to step into your blessing. Lies, lies, lies. Somebody don't want to hear. When you say that, you, you, you preach that, they don't want to hear. When we were growing, when we were growing in the church, there was no preaching like that. We go to church and you tell you, walk, walk in righteousness. And every day I say it. That if we don't take care through this and tell charismatic preachers, Will the devil have <laughs> lead many to, to hell? I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we live a righteous life. We do the will of God. We look to do the will of God. Live in righteousness. In this life, Job says, Hey, man, <laughs> a man born of a woman, your days are few but full of trouble. But the only way is living and doing the will of God. Jesus Christ made us to know how, how it is important for the lost to live. All he did, when you read Matthew 9 and verse 13, he said, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. May, the, may you know and understand the kingdom that Jesus came to preach. He said there is an end. And at the end, you stand upon it and church uh, the world. This parable also, the fourth one that he wants us to know and learn is that there is a living in his light. When you when you live in Jesus Christ, you live in his light. You live, there is life in Jesus Christ. And when you live in, in that life, it becomes light unto you. Let me go and read Matthew chapter 8. Matthew 8. And uh, uh, sorry, I'll uh, read John chapter, John chapter 8, John 8, and let me read verse 12, listen to Jesus Christ. I am talking about the light of this world. <laughs> the Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. When you come to Jesus and you live in, in the kingdom, his light shine upon you and it go before you. That the light dwells in you. And the light, David said, your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. And he continued to say, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to, to my path. Because it is the word of God that leads him. He uses these parables to tell us that, that, that his kingdom, when you come into him and you come and abide in him, and he abides in you, hey, the light of God will shine upon you. 
John chapter 15 and the verse 5. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. As a branch cannot bear fruit by itself, so you can do nothing. And whoever abides in me, if you don't abide in Jesus, you cannot do anything. When you talk about righteous life, when you talk about this, people think that all you have to do is go back and sit down and close your eyes. And you sit down 24 hours, 7 days, and you sit down without doing anything. A lazy Christian. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will stand up. Somebody sang a song, stand up, stand up for Jesus. He suggests all the cross. Lift up his royal banner. It must not suffer lost. From victory unto victory. His army shall he leave. Until every foe is vanquished. And Christ, Christ is Lord indeed. The parable of our Lord Jesus Christ. John John 8 and the verse 12. He said, Jesus speak again as unto them, saying, I am the light of this world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You have the light of life. Proverbs 1 7 said, The beginning of knowledge, wisdom, is the fearing of God. That is why the Bible says, If anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. When you come to the Lord Jesus, your eyes is open, your senses are open. Again, the things that are sin in this life. Remember the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. And the gift of God is eternal life. It help us to know that the light of this world, Jesus talked about the people living in the light on the day of judgment. When you read Matthew chapter 13, Matthew 13 verse 43. Let me go back and read it. And you, you know, he was talking about the people that live in light. <laughs> Again, he said, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of, our, of their father, who had ears to hear, let them hear. The righteous. The righteous. Because your deeds, your deeds, and are in darkness. There are people that don't want to hear anything about the righteous because they don't want to change. I pray in the name of Jesus today. We are going to pray more. <laughs> we are going to pray more. I was just lying down, and the Spirit of God was telling me that there are people that, that the people, many people, all the people that surround them, their enemies are many than their friends. There is no friend. They are all your enemies. You see them as friends, but they are enemies. I pray in the name of Jesus that your God will arise. Your God will arise. We're going to pray. Going to call the Holy Ghost. We're going to call it every demonic covenant of failure, poverty, of struggle that you are born in. We have to break. You have to break yourself out of it. Jesus Christ says that the children of the kingdom will shine because of the glory of God. Don't don't think about the persecution. Don't think about the trouble. Because when you read Matthew 5 verse 10, he said, Blessed are they that will persecute them for righteous sake. You live a righteous life and do the will of God. There will be rumor of people who, people who will come together and say things about you. But who cares? It is up to them. <laughs> One of the things I tell God, this is, this is what he says. You live a righteous life and do the will of God. No matter the troubles, hey, the glory of God will cause you to shine. Who shine? Yet there's not what 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 somebody will decree and decree, declare. Maybe the prophet, if you know that prophet who who is prophesying and telling you lies, you know his his or her lifestyle. <laughs> you even not go there for them to lay their hands on you. Do it. <laughs> the Bible says when you are praying, enter your secret, mark your success, enter your room and pray, and the God who sees you in your room. Will bless you openly. The righteous will shine. Again, the righteous will shine. He says that the righteous will shine. And they will be like the sun on that faithful day. That is what our Jesus is telling us. He says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
All you need to do is trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desire of your heart. Commit your ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as light and your judgment as the noonday. Psalm 37 verse 32. Trust in the Lord. Our God is faithful. Again our God is faithful. Our Jesus will come. Jesus said that the kingdom are people who are sowing good seed. That are good seed are the righteous people. But remember they are very few. Because few people want to walk in the narrow way. Few people even want to hear the true word of God. Nobody want to hear. Few people want to hear the true word of God. When you tell people to live a righteous life, they got angry. They get angry. Because somebody is telling them that because of the grace of God, I am going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, that grace. My prayers are, God bless you. My brother Kofi, Kofi was a long time, brother. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming and he has his reward. He has his reward. <laughs> Again, let me go and read the same, the same parable, the same place. You see that Jesus began, began to talk about another parable. He began to talk about it. And to talk, talk about it. <laughs> that, that The kingdom of God. He wants us to know that the kingdom of God, whether you like it or not, the kingdom of God will grow. He came to grow. Matthew 13, verse 30, 31 and 32. Let's go and see another parable that Jesus said. 31, he said another parable he put forth. But to them say the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed. That seed is small. That seed is small. When you see mustard seed, it is, it is very small. The Bible again says that even if we have faith like a mustard seed, we will turn mountains to, to move. Which a man took and sowed in the field. Which indeed, hallelujah, he says that he sowed in the field, which indeed is the least of all the seed. But when it grows, it is greater among the herbs and became a tree so that the best of the air comes and lodge in the branches. Jesus Christ was saying that. He was talking about the kingdom. He started when he came. He said he came for his own, but his own receiving not. He started with 12 people. And even one of them, even one of them betrayed him, Judas, and killed himself. And the others went out to, to preach the gospel. Now Christianity is the largest religion. I pray in the name of Jesus recently, recently that in our generation that the false one have entered. Even Jesus himself told us that there will be a lot of false preachers, false, false prophets. Jesus said that in this last day he will pour his spirit upon all flesh. Young men and young women will prophesy. He said they will prophesy. He did not say, the Bible did not say we'll get more prophets. But the false prophet, the Bible says it. Uh, Jesus even said there will be more false prophets and go to Africa. Go to Africa. Because of money, because of fame, because of pride. One day, you don't repent when you say it. You don't repent. You don't repent. I know some of them that, that cannot walk in that deceive and destroy. And so some of them are running out. And when they come out and they begin to say it, the same people, their followers insult them. People who follow them insult them because they think that <laughs> this is the right way you go. May God have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. He said that <laughs> he said another parable. He wants us to know that the kingdom of God, Jesus, tells us that it will grow. It is not what you think. He says it was a least seed, but when it grows, it was greater than every health and became a tree and everybody. All the beds come on. Every bed come on. Jesus Christ is the Lord. My brother, my sister, child of God, if you have come to the kingdom, know that you are at the right place. You are at the right place. Because Jesus Christ said in John 10 and verse 7, 
He says that I am the door of the ships. I am the door of the ships. Anybody who came before me, those who came before me, they were thieves and robbers. They were thieves and robbers. And he continued to say that whoever <laughs> enter, I am the door. If you enter me and come, you go and come and you have pasture for your life. And him is life. Jesus is the door. Again, when you read John chapter 10 and the verse 11, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd and I am the good shepherd laid down his life for us. Jesus is the only way. Pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will understand and come to Jesus. Live a righteous life and you have fulfillment for your soul. You have fulfillment for your soul. You see, there is grace that surrounds the kingdom of God. And when we read verse 34 and 35, verse 34 and 35, let me go read verse 34 and 35. He says, And all these things he speaks unto them, the, the multitudes in parable, without a parable speak he not unto them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Isaiah, the prophet. When you read Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9, 7 and 9, you see that the Isaiah even prophesied that he will speak. And when he speaks, people will not understand. He's speaking parables. The grace of God that surrounds his ministry. That surrounds his, and so many people think that because of the grace, because of the grace, you can do anything. Because of the grace, you can sin and do anything. And you come together tomorrow and you begin to ask, a child of God, you have every opportunity. Somebody said that who knows tomorrow? Nobody knows. Uh, today is your day. Then you have a program that he calls it. This is your day. A day comes and go. But not every day will be yours. Opportunity comes but once. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will grab it. You go, you grab it. And will run with it. Run with that opportunity in the name of Jesus. The kingdom of God, Jesus Christ was telling us how valuable the kingdom of God is. He uses the parable to tell us how valuable <laughs> the kingdom of God is valuable. Value it. Let me go. I, again, the Bible says uh, he put forth another parable and said that the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and hid it. For the joy over it goes and sells all that he has and buy the field. <laughs> I pray. My Bible Know who Jesus is and accept him. Take him. He says that the kingdom of God is that like a man who went to the field and he, he found a treasure. Come and talk about the treasures in land. It can, it can be gold, it can be diamond. You can, you can continue to mention. And this man went and hid it, sold everything and said that, no, I want to go buy the land. I want to go take that treasure. I need everything. That is why the Bible says that if anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are past. Treasure the kingdom are valuable. And that is why Jesus said we should seek the kingdom. Seek it. And seeking for something is like searching for it. You don't take it as a silver platter. You don't take it and it will never come and meet you. You seek it. By seeking something, you search for it. And you fight for it. You leave everything. That is why the Bible says we should seek the kingdom. And the righteousness. And everything will be added unto us. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will seek. Seek the kingdom. And do the right thing. The Bible says in Isaiah. It says seek him where he will be found. And call upon him while he is near. Again, he said, Ask and it shall begin and seek. <laughs> so, those who seek, they find. You go out to seek it, a treasure in the field. Hallelujah. He says that the kingdom of heaven is uh, like, like you know, unto the treasure hidden in the field, which when a man found, had found it, he hid it for joy and go. And sell all that he had and buy the field. Buy the field. Buy the field. A child of God, let me ask you a question. What are you giving up for the joy of knowing Christ? What are you giving out 
Hey, you cannot, you cannot change from what you tolerate. You cannot change from what you tolerate. What you accept, you cannot change from it. And so if you have come to the Lord Jesus and you continue to accept and tolerate that whole behavior, you will not change. Not because of grace. This man saw that the, the field was treasured and decided to sell it. Sell it. And come back. And by verse 45, say again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto you know, a merchant man seeking godly pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price went to and sold all that he had and bought it that is what jesus christ was telling us how to value the kingdom the value of the kingdom because when you seek it you find it somebody says that i i i have made my fortune without jesus i have made my fortune i don't need to pray I don't need this. Listen to me, a child of God. Listen to me, somebody. I will every day tells you, you don't need Jesus before you work. Because it was God who gave us command. He said we should tell the land and multiply. And so if you're a Christian, you work, you get money. If you're a Muslim, you work, you invest, you get money. And this is the principle of this act. But to know Jesus is having internal life the bible says in him is life and that life is the light of man because the world and the things everything is passing away and they that do the will of god there is a judgment there's a judgment the sad aspect of it is that some of us that comes from africa there's, there's so much wickedness that if you don't hide yourself in the blood somebody will destroy you they will destroy you and they will destroy you from your own family. From your own friends. From the people around you. They will destroy you. I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever has decided to destroy you. May they not look at them. In the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll continue. Let's go and pray. I told you want us to pray. To that the Lord will stretch forth his hand. And heal somebody. And turn your life around in the name of Jesus. Let somebody's life be turned around in the name. Let me lead somebody to Christ before we start praying. Say, Lord Jesus, like today, Father, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. You always say, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things have passed, and everything has become new. As I accept you, may you order my steps until you come. Or coming from this earth in Jesus' name. See, Amen. If you say to find a church, not every church you go. Don't go to any any church. There are many churches that you go that you not find Christ. Yes, they, they make mention the name of Jesus, but you don't find Jesus there. Don't go to a church, you enter the then the, the pastor will begin uh, with him. They can begin to read your card number to you. They are lies, they are sorcerers. They are sorcerers. This is your card number. They begin to tell you the color of your underwear or bring your underwear for them to bend. They are all evil, they are demons. Don't go there. Don't go there. If you go to the place and they will tell you they enter your village, they went into your mother's house. They are evil, they don't have good spirits. They don't have good spirits. Somebody will fight with me because somebody you have made your papa that the same thing he goes. I was I was <laughs> I was looking to, at one of them. I was one of them. He took a, a, a cloth and he spread it like this. And he said that I am going to see this cloth. I'm going to see it through your family. They have family aspirations. They have family, they are evil. They are evil. I'm crowded your machine. Let them all grow. There is a judgment day. But the sad thing is that I don't want you to be a victim, fall into their hands. Fall into their hands and they will deceive you. One of, one of uh, a lady called me and they said that she was going to die, she will have a problem. And this woman went to a program and uh, did not have money. Because she did not have money, did, uh, this man of God did not pray for, for her. 
should go. Even if, if she has money on her credit card, go and bring the money. They are evil. They are not men of God. They are evil. Tell them that or suffer brand is say they are evil, they should repent. Repent. Jesus said, when you gain the whole world and loses your life, what do you gain? If we had, we, we threw corruption and deceive, get all this money, build houses and build everything, what do we gain? <laughs> the next day you die and people will be fighting. You go and watch Mama F.A. show and you see how, how people fight over people's property. Yesterday, yesterday even there was one. It was done. There are always people are fighting. And so the, the, some of the things that you even you, you deceive people and kill people for, you leave it for people. May heaven forbid. In Jesus, they begin to thank God. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Begin to thank God. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. Just open your mouth and begin to thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Say, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my life. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Just pray. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for seeing another day. Thank Jesus for another opportunity in life. Bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise. I give you glory. Just begin to honor his name. His name is Jesus. Just bless the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless his name. Just bless his name. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Begin to thank the Lord. Honor him and say, Lord, I thank you. We are thanking him. We are blessing his name. Begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him. We are Thank you, Nima. Raka da bushanda da banda de boro. E busha kada da ba. Yes, thank the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord. Just thank Him and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for another day. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my children's life. Thank God for your husband. Thank God for your your mother. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for them. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Raka da bushan te te branda. E busha kada boronda briada ba. In the name of Jesus in the name E bojande de bonda bria da boje kara da ba e sidi di borono bria da ba in the name of Jesus in the blood the blood the blood re kada bojanda da ba e bojanda de bria da ba in Jesus name today I want us to pray our first prayer there are many people that the the family that you were born in you were born into a, a covenant of failure, a covenant of sickness, a covenant of retrogression, an altar of retrogression. <laughs> As we are going to lift up a prayer. Yes, there are some people that you did not pick up your struggle from this earth because of anything but because of where you were born. <laughs> Immediately you were born into that family. The family that you come from because somebody went and covenant and took a God and have shown that God has built an altar. There has been a covenant. And everybody that comes through that family, you have to go through. There's something called a covenant of failure. A covenant. And so no matter how, what you do, go, you go into the family. All the young men are failing. All the young women. A man come here and say, in my family, women cannot get married. Oh, my beautiful sisters, go and see them. A child of God, we are praying. <laughs> that is a covenant and not of Inua. So long as you come, you may be beautiful, but no husband. May God deliver you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Holy Ghost break you and set you free. Jesus said to deliver the captive, those who have been <laughs> falling into captivity. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, through the blood, every demonic covenant, every demonic altar from my mother's family, from my father's family, that I, I inherited because I was born in that family. Every covenant of failure, every covenant of disgrace, every covenant of backwardness, retrogression, every covenant of sickness today by the reason of the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ 
and in the name of Jesus, I destroy it. I set myself free through the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray you are praying into your lives you yourself are praying hey we pray with you we don't pray for you we pray with you we stand together and pray pray into your life every demonic covenant of failure every spirit of failure that has been shown in your life they want you to fail they don't want any good thing then the fire the father I strike whoever is the brain behind our life administered if your spirit Jealous spirit, evil spirit, receive fire. I command tender. I pray the Holy Ghost over their lives in the name of Jesus. May fire look at them, may the tender look at them. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody call the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood, the Bosha Kadaburu. Somebody pray, somebody call the name of Jesus, call the name of Jesus. Every inherited disgrace, every inherited altar from your mother's family, from your father's family. Lord, I pray into my family, I pray to my mother's family, I pray to my father's family. Open your mouth and pray. Every altar of disgrace, every altar. These days we have been praying against demonic altars. You are praying, you are calling the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit of failure, struggle that you were born in, that you come from, whoever is responsible for that spirit demon, let that spirit receive fire. Yes, young grandma, use the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. Da bujen de de brada zukoro e babanda da banda ze karoborona in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus pray and say Lord every demonic covenant every demonic altar that is my father's family that is my mother's family have covenant of failure, altars of failure, altars of demonic retrogression. There are some families, you, no matter how rich you are, you come down. Hey, every witchcraft of witchcraft altar that your spirit has been laid on, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the blood of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Say, Lord Jesus, every altar of poverty, every altar of failure, every altar of struggle, every altar of retrogression, every demonic altar of limitation. There are some people, household, strong man. That altar is altar of delay. There is nothing good that is coming into your life. You are raining fire. The Bible says suddenly, Paul and Silas prayed, and there was an earthquake that came for their release. Oh Jesus, oh God, Holy Ghost, come like an earthquake and locate our enemies. Locate them, those who are prayer evil prayers those who are chanting those who have evil wishes we command fire i strike them let fire locate them let tender locate them those who are using voodoo those who are those who are using occult holy ghost fire 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 i command it let it locate them let somebody locate them in the name of jesus the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood open your mouth and pray strike it break the spirit of failure from your life Spirit of retrogression that have been shown in your life that you have uh, inherited it automatically from that family in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray with us. Pray. In the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Open your mouth and pray. Pray with us. We are calling the name of Jesus. We are calling the blood of Jesus. Every struggle that surrounds your life, every demonic struggle, in some of you, it can be sickness that they are shown. We pray, you are praying against every demonic covenant, everything that you have inherited that is waging war because you come from that family. Hey, they will fight you and fight your children. They fought your mother and they are fighting you. They will fight your children. They fought your father and they will fight you. And they 
don't fight your children. Who you are standing up in the power of God. Enough is not. Say enough is enough. I will not them have a way. Let God arise. Say my God arise. My Jesus arise. And let my enemy be scattered. Let pray. Pray to your home. Pray to your community. Pray to your area. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Santa da Boronda Briadaba. He condo da Boronda. He papanda da Boje Cada Boronda. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray. Raka da Bojende de Branda Zunde Rebe. He Boja Cada Boronda Briadaba. He papanda da Boje Cada Boronda Briadaba. Somebody call the name. Call the name. Call the name. Call the name of Jesus. Somebody call the name. And say, Lord Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Zika da Boronda Briadaba. He Bojende de Boronda Briadaba. He Bojende de Boronda Briadaba. Open your mouth and pray. He Corondo Briadaba. In Jesus' name. Somebody will continue to pray. We are praying deliverance. You are praying for yourself. You see, we, we don't pray for you. We pray with you. We stand together and we all pray together. We are praying with you. There are some people, so long as you come from that family, you have inherited <laughs> disease and sickness. He said, because, because your, 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 your daddy or your grandfather died of uh, diabetes, yeah, your mother went through and you have to go through. It's enough, it's enough. That is a lies of the devil. That's lies. That's lies. Because your auntie was barren. And so you have to be also be barren. As, and you're told, it's, hey, it's lies. <laughs> Tell yourself, my me. Tell yourself, my me. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Every demonic sickness, every altar, that has been built in your mother's family, father's family. That has become the source of your problem, your barrenness, your sickness, your failure. We are lifting up a prayer. You see, when 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 there is a demonic altar, and that altar fights you. If you don't pray yourself, every place you get to, there is a demonic mark around you. Anybody who gets you want to strike you, they want to, they want to strike you, they want to fight your job. May tender locate them, may fire locate them. In the name of Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. I can say it. Say Lord Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Every altar in my mother's family, or father's family, or my spouse's family that is waging war against my health against my handiwork against my marriage against my womb against my my children against my success my ministry let god arise today by the reason of the shed blood of jesus and in the name of jesus i destroy that altar i command fire that elijah call to consume that altar in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray you are praying against every demonic altar hey altar be a bosom be a dear woman if you have a fear and no abra but this year be one open your mouth and pray command it say lord jesus i pray myself out holy ghost holy ghost holy Every witchcraft altar, every demonic altar, praying for your fall, your failure in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Let fire locate them, let turn, let the fire of God. Somebody call Jesus, somebody call the name. In the name of Jesus. In the 
name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, pray with us, pray with us, pray with us, pray with us, come on fire, e bojanda da branda zu korono briada ba, e babanda da banda zu korono briada ba, e zanda da branda zu kada bojende de be, in the name of Jesus, 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 e babanda da branda zika da da ba, e boje kada boronda briada ba, in the name of Jesus ziba, opium of embrace. Every covenant where your womb have been laid on altar, that your health, every witchcraft altar, that your substance, that your handiwork, everything has laid on, you will not fail, you will not die, but you will deliver it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray into my father's house, I pray to the home, every witchcraft altar, every demonic altar of failure, receive fire, receive fire. Somebody, we are praying, we are commanding it. Rakada bojente de branda, e papa pa jente de branda zika da ba, e bojanda da branda zende de be, e boja kada boronda. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray, somebody call the name of Jesus. Rakada bojanda de branda zunda da ba, e bojanda de branda zukorono ria da ba. In the name of Jesus, in the name. Name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, a bojan that they brand as a corona riadaba, a bojan that they brand as a kadaba. Pray with us, pray with us, pray with us. We are calling the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray, opium of them pray, Rakada da bojan de de brand as a corona, a papa. We are praying the blood of Jesus. Pray, every spirit of failure, every altar that your health every demonic sickness that is waging war against your life they want you to fear they want they want you to sit upon your throne they want you we pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost fire fire follow me Again, Holy Ghost, fire, fire, follow me. Here on the day of Pentecost, fire, follow me. Here on the day of Pentecost, fire, follow me. We are still praying. We are praying every spirit that which war against your life. Let your God arise. Let God arise. Every spirit. Again, let's pray this prayer. Hey, I call it demonic struggle. Demonic struggle. Hey, there are people because of the family you come from. You continue to struggle. Nothing will come to you easy. Nothing will come to you easy. You have to struggle for it. Because somebody somewhere have made a barrier, have made a wall. Hey, somebody will go to them uh, to see the, the doctor. The same medication that gave uh, brought healing to him. <laughs> you take the same medication hundred times, and there is no effect. I pray. We are praying. We are praying. Every demonic gate of struggle or spirit of struggle <laughs> that have been shown in your life. There are times you see it in your dream. You, you sleep. <laughs> and somebody will be stealing. They steal your shoes. They steal everything around you. Demonic thieves may fire locate them. May turn down. Yeshu Mojang come on him. Yeshu Christu Mojang come on him. You pray. Pray to your friends. There are many. <laughs> there are many <laughs> friends around you who think that they are friends. They are your enemies. They are your enemies. They come there. All they want is to seek and destroy your life. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Again, say it. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that have come to my life, everybody that is around me, that looks like a friend, but is an enemy, every altar of struggle, every altar 
that have been shown around me that is waging war against my life for my failure. Father, as I pray, unveil them, strike them, bring them out and destroy their plans against my life, against my family. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. There are people, some people, your enemies are more than your friends. And the people are around, none of you as your friend. Hey, they are all your enemies because the devil have contracted them to use their, them to destroy your life. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Pray. Pray to your friend. Pray to your brother. Pray. Pray. Open your mouth and pray everywhere. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Just lift up a prayer. Just lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Somebody lift up a prayer into your friends. Every envious and jealous prayer that are demonic ones. We pray. Let God bless the good ones. Pray. Every evil friend. And I strike them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I strike them. Ebojanda de branda zukoro, holy ghost fire, 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 fire look at them in the name of Jesus in the blood. Rakada bojanda da banda da ba, ebojanda de bra. Open your mouth, every demonic hob of Roy Cravo, release fire into the mesh. Let the holy ghost fire crush them everywhere they have gathered against your life, against your ministry, against your children. For your failure, say, Lord, I pray. I pray every secret gathering, every witchcraft gathering against my life, against my family. Let fire locate them back to the center. Pray it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Zika to Boronda Briadaba. In Coronda Briadabo Jacadaba. In Bojanda de Boronda Briadaba. In Cantada Boronda Briadaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I destroy the destroyer. I destroy them. I destroy the handiwork. Everyone that have come into my life, every man or woman that have come into my life to, to destroy, fire look at them, tender look at them. Every plunge of the devil, whoever, we pray fire, we pray tender. E bojanda da bronda zika da boronda briada ba e zanda da bojeka da boronda briada ba in the name of Jesus in the blood the blood the blood reka da bojende de boronda briada ba e corona briada bojanda de banda zende de ba e bojanda da boronda briada bojende de ba e bojanda da boronda briada ba in the name of Jesus in the blood of Jesus e bojanda da boronda briada bojaka da ba e bojanda de boronda Pray, just pray. Every enemy of your life, your ministry, we pray fire, we pray Holy Ghost. Pray to the camp, pray to your mother's family, pray to your father's family, pray to your brothers, pray to your sisters, pray to your aunties, pray to your uncle, pray to your as well as family, every spirit, every demon, every witch, a bojan da da boje kada boronda briada ba, a bojan da da branda zika da da ba, a papa da da banda zende de branda, a bojan de de branda zika da da ba, a da da bojan da de boronda briada bojende de be, a bojan da de branda zuko rondo briada ba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Somebody we are praying the blood. Somebody we are praying the blood. Somebody we are praying the blood. Somebody pray. Rakata bojen de de borono briada ba. In the name of Jesus. E ba banda da borono briada boje karada ba. In Jesus name. Amen. Again we are praying. Baby, your blessings you have been locked in a demonic camp. Maybe something that belongs to you that have been locked in the demonic camp. We are praying here, Bompire. We are praying that Father, anything that belongs to me that have been locked in their camp, in their warehouses, they don't want any good thing to come. Your breakthrough, your healing, your womb, the fruit of your womb, your children's 
We are praying in the name of Jesus. Let God arise, let God arise, and let Jehovah break you through. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, everything that belongs to me, every blessing that has been confiscated by the enemy that is in their camp, I take it back. Let it locate me right now. Holy Ghost, you are going to command Angel Michael, Angel Michael and Gabriel through the Holy Ghost to rescue and deliver into you every demonic blessings that they want to exchange your blessing with. Hey, let it locate you. Let your healing locate you. Ibanda Dabra. Obiomafe begin to pray. We are praying in the name of Jesus in the blood. Rakada Bushanda Daba. Ibushanda Debra and Azu Korondo Riada Bush. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name. Somebody, you are praying, we are praying, we are praying. In Bushanda, the Bronda Zika, the Daba. Is on the Borona, Riada Busha, Kadaba. Opium of him pray. In Bushanda, the Borona, Riada Bushi, Kadaba. Pray with us, pray, 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 pray. In Bushanda, the Borona, Riada Bo. In the name of Jesus, we are praying our help. We are praying. You are praying in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I pray myself. In the name, let my blessing locate me. Let my blessing locate me. In the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood, the blood. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Ebujan Nada Branda Zukorono Riadaba, Ebujan Nada Branda Zanda Dabaraba, Ebujan Nada Branda Zukorono Riadaba, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, thank God, let's thank God and pray. You are praying and you are commanding the blood of Jesus to be a permanent wall of fire around you, around your household. Say, Lord Jesus, I build a permanent wall of fire. Let your blood cover me. Let the Holy Ghost bruise over me. Every attack of the enemy, every reprisal attack of against your life we bind it we destroy it we command it in the name of jesus zibanda da bojanda de ba ibanda da branda zu corona riada ba ibojanda de branda zende de ba in the name of jesus in jesus name amen thank you thank you the child of god thank you my brother my sister thank you Please share our messages for us. If you join us, just share it for us. Share it. Share it on your word that somebody will also listen and come and be blessed. In the name of Jesus, thank you all. My big sister, sister Adelaide. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, people who are watching us everywhere, brother not and everywhere. Whoever is watching us far and near, we want to thank you and we love you. We know many people are watching us, but the names are not coming. So forgive us. That if you don't mention your name, but we love you. Thank you, chef, for us. God bless you all.